Hi, I'm Jen Zielinski standing outside the central Okanagan Community Food Bank where families are lining up for Christmas hampers and dozens of volunteers are working very hard to make this event happen. Today we are expecting to give out probably close to about 350 hampers. So today is for families. Uh, Tuesday will be for singles and couples and then Wednesday is for anyone who wasn't able to make it here on Monday or Tuesday. The hamper distribution wouldn't be possible with the more than 50 volunteers who help out over the three days. Just such a wonderful feeling to have people happy and, and see them getting food that normally they just wouldn't get. Um, and it's, it's a terrible thing to say, but it's a feel-good thing for me. Um, there's a gang of us from the hospital that actually come here. Um, and we do it every year and it's just um, it's part of Christmas. None of this happens without our community support and we've been really, really overwhelmed with people's generosity this year. Um, it, it can get a little stressful for parents when they know Christmas is coming up and you try to figure out like turkeys are 30 bucks and all the other stuff that goes with Christmas can be really financially challenging for some families um, and our community has really come together to make sure that those of us who are facing some challenges have been helped this Christmas. There is also a toy room for parents to pick out gifts for their children and new this year a secret room filled with gifts for mom and dad. Actually they'll be good because a lot of people need it for, for Christmas and family and I think it would be better for people to have to be able to get something for Christmas to provide for their family. The food bank will be closed on both Christmas Day and Boxing Day and will reopen Monday for donations and drop-offs and then will return to business hours on January 4th. For Castanet News, I'm Jen Zielinski.